Alrighty guys, we're inside the uh, front door. Double doors. This is a retro house. You can see the sub flooring and they ripped up like the carpet or the vinyl or whatever was on the floor. But the wallpaper is cool and like everything else is still kind of intact. So it's completely boarded up. It is pitch black in here. So we're gonna need a light, a good light at that. Um, so just the front foyer here, nice grand entrance way. Pretty nice. Got some cool wallpaper. It looks textured. Yeah, it is. That's really cool. Doorbell's gone. Whoa, that's a big room. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. You got a closet over here. Toronto Star from Monday, January 16th, 2012. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that nobody's lived here in a pretty long time. I see another one back there from 2013. Summer of 13. So it's been over 10 years that somebody's lived in this house. Um, that's insane. All right, so we're probably gonna go this way first, I guess. And then we'll go down that way. This is a big bungalow, so. Wow. Retro. Vinyl, or no, that's like linoleum. Or some type of vinyl. Tub there. Yeah, I got the old wallpaper. Here we go, what's up guys? Oh, look at this. Oh, this should have a date on it. November 2nd, 1968. The toilet was made. <laughs> well, that makes sense then that the house was built in 69. Made in Portugal. Soap. They ripped up like some of the flooring and then just said like, nah, I'll just keep half of it. <laughs> I don't understand that logic, but okay. Old wood brown doors. So that's the first bathroom. Look at this hallway, man. So old school. Moldy up there. First bedroom. Got some old curtains and a closet. And then green carpet. Look at the old thermostat. It says a closet, I guess. It doesn't want to open. What the heck? Why? It won't open. It's moldy anyway. I don't really want to touch it, but it won't open. Those doors won't open. Weird. So that's a bedroom. The old curtains. That's so cool. This carpet's in pretty good shape. For probably being as old as it is. And again, it's weird. They left the carpet here, but left they ripped up like the vinyl and like the rest of the house. It doesn't make sense. It makes no sense. Okay, another bedroom with a again old curtains and a closet that's already open. We can look in that one. This is probably the same idea of what would have been in the other one. Just this normal sized closet with nothing in it. Um, it's in really good shape. The house is in like like. <laughs> For something that's sat here for like 10 years, just vacant, it's in really, really good shape. Like cobwebs, sure. Maybe a little bit of mold from sitting, but like this has had no power for years. And it's not like the ceiling hasn't fallen in. You know what I mean? It's not water damaged. You could re like realistically, you could fix this up and uh, live in this again. It's not that far gone. So I think that kind of, speaks for how well this was built there's another closet that's pretty cool i like the old wooden doors like the fact that it's all like intact and like original still is, is pretty cool master bedroom Probably. Hmm. 
What the heck? Why'd the door close? It was wide open. That's weird. Does it like shut? No. Okay. Odd. Weird. Don't know what that's about. Yeah, it's molding the ceiling, but that could just be because of a bad roof, right? It's fixable stuff. In my opinion, you could definitely fix this up and live in it again. Closet. I'll shut that because I've got people out there exploring too, filming, and I don't want to talk over them, but I don't want them to talk over me. So there's a little ensuite, little bath here. Oh wow, groovy! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at this. That's cool. Jeez, man, that's crazy. Well, the green tile. That's neat. That one, July '02. Uh, that toilet's a little bit newer. It's not the original one, like the one out in the hall. But the rest of this bathroom certainly is. Those are the old cabinets that were over there as well. Same countertop, I think. Wallpaper's relatively similar. Had the heat lamps. Yeah, cool. This one still has its flooring. Nice big windows in here would bring in light, but obviously those days are long gone. They have since been boarded up. Whole house is boarded up. I don't think there's one door or window that wasn't boarded up. I've wanted to do this house for a really long time. It's kind of funny. Like I've been in this house. This is my third time I've been in this house in the last probably five or six years. And it didn't used to be boarded up. And uh, I came back once, we got inside, it was open. And I'm like, no, it's it's freezing. It was middle of winter. I didn't want to do it. I was cold. I'm like, I'm gonna come back on a little bit of like a warmer day. Came back, reboarded it. So I'm like, oh, okay, damn, we're gonna have to wait. And then we came back this time. The exact same board that was ripped off by somebody the first time was ripped off again. So got to do it. And I'm like, I'm not missing my chance. I'm just gonna do it. So. Oh, hello, Owen. Hi. <laughs> All right. Now, I wanted to look at this room. So you got this, this is probably like a family room type deal. You have a, this is a huge room. You can probably hear the echo. It's absolutely massive. Oh, no way. It's like felt, flocked, flocked wallpaper. That was expensive back then. That was a big deal. Old curtains that kind of match too. Nice hardwood floors. They don't creak when you walk on them. Like it just, this feels like a very solid built house, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, that's what, slate tile. It's pretty nice, wood burning fireplace. Fancy stuff, man. There's all the screens for the windows. It's neat how it lines up perfect with the front door. They did a good, time, a good good, job designing this one. Is that window broken? No, it's not, okay. <laughs> Seeing stuff. So that's probably like a family room type deal, I guess. Even the light switch cover is like flocked wallpaper on it. It's crazy cool. Old White Rogers thermostat. Even the, up here, like, everywhere is wallpapered. Makes you wonder what tile was here. If it was, like, linoleum, if it was carpet. Okay, moving forward. Holy jeez, this is a huge room. Wood paneling in here. Pretty retro stuff. Look at this fireplace. Wow. That's beautiful. That's gorgeous. Is that a skeleton key? What the heck? That's cool. Oh, it's a new tone. Oh, it's a speaker. Like a cover for a speaker. It says new tone on it. 
Where would that go? In here? I don't know where that would even go. I don't see where it would go. Oh, you know what that is? Okay, out here. It would have been right here. That's the cover for the doorbell. That's exactly what that is. That's cool. That's really cool. And yeah, the big brick fireplace, wood burning fireplace. That's awesome. Even like the outlet cover. It's like custom. That's cool, man. Built in little like shelf unit there. Would have had a massive, massive window here. Look in the backyard. That smashed. So that might've led to what got this house boarded up. Was this window getting smashed out? There's a sliding door, probably goes out to a balcony. I have pictures of this place before it was boarded up somewhere. We're talking like 2018 or 19. Hidden little cubby here. I always check these little areas because I've found record players in them and stuff before, so I kind of like to look in them. But nothing in there. There looks like there was a wall unit or something there at one point. Yeah, it's too bad it's just subflooring. Because this would have been cool seeing it like carpeted. You can see too, like on the walls where stuff would have hung, where like the sun faded it. Like as you see here, like the circle over there and then right there. Like stuff was on the walls here for decades. I'm pretty sure this was just like probably a one owner house. And uh, it really, it shows. So we go down here. Did we miss? Oh, the kitchen. Oh yeah, this is original. Wow. Can we, can we close the cabinets? This would look a lot less cluttered if we could shut these. Give us a bit of a better idea of what this would have looked like. Shut all those. Shut this. Close that, close that. I think that's all of them, right? Yeah. So, with everything closed and normal, that's what it would look like. Pretty nice. Okay, there's the flooring that would have been in here that they ripped out. So it was vinyl or linoleum or whatever that is. I'm surprised the copper's still in this house. For a house that's been abandoned 10 years. The old range hood here too. Jeez. It's definitely original, everything in here. That's really cool. Like the wallpaper, the cabinets, this light fixture probably would have had like a little table or something here. A little breakfast nook here. They got the wall cut out here, like it was water damaged or something. And then, what's this, a pantry I'm guessing? Yeah. Keys for something. Garage. Hmm. Was that a mop? What is that? Oh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, there's like keys hanging there, like everything. Little front hall closet. There's a door, secondary little front door. Closet. Oh, there's the basement. We'll go down there in a second. Because I think all we have left up here is this garage. Big garage. Door that goes outside. There's a bunch of wood. Wow, no, big garage, you could easily fit two cars in here. If you wonder what back in the day what was parked in here. Back in 69, Camaro or a Mustang or a Riviera, who knows? Okay, there's a wallpaper here. Let's head down. No flooring down here either. Another boarded up door. Looks pretty unfinished. That's boarded up pretty heavily. 
I wonder if that's the original sliding door. Should say. Yep, January. I can't see it on camera. But it says 169. So January of 69. That door was made. Another lovely fireplace. So 1969. This would have been 69 the year the, the, the moon thing was 69, right? That was 69, right? It wasn't 67. It was 69. Um, 69, the same year the Science, Ontario Science Center opened. That opened in 1969. And unfortunately, that is now closed. Which is ridiculous. It should be opened up again. Piece of uh, Canadian uh, heritage that building is. I hope I get the opportunity to explore it. If they truly are shutting it down and demolishing it, I'd love to have the opportunity to explore that building. It's a giant piece of my childhood, the Science Center. I'd love to go in there one last time and explore it. But, uh, anyways. Oh, cobwebs. Spare bedroom, probably. It's pretty moldy down here. Pretty nasty, not gonna lie to you. Spare bedroom. Pretty big for being a spare bedroom. It's pretty huge, really. Oh, look at this bathroom. Old oh, man. Bathroom, basement. You don't say. An old tile. Shower stall, those tiles are still shiny in there. They're clean. It's still a toothbrush and everything. Like, that's insane. That's been there for years. One tile on the floor broke off right at the bottom. Towel rack still on the door, on the back. Too bad they gutted all the floors, ripped all the carpeting and wood or whatever was on there. In another wood paneled room, probably again a bedroom. It's got a closet. So we're talking a f three upstairs, four, five bedroom house in 1969. You were doing pretty good. This was definitely more of a high end house, I'd say, for its time. So it's sad to see it like this. It's crazy how one thing can be so like high end and untouchable at one point and then completely just unwanted and abandoned at another. Goes to show how trends can just end. This was top of the line in its day, and now it sits here boarded off from the rest of the world. Kind of a sad outlook on it, but that's just, it's really how it is. Um, I think that's it. Did we miss anything? Did we go in there? Did we go in here? Oh, hello. I don't think we need to go in there. Okay, we'll let him go in there first. we we'll do this. What's the closet. Did we go in there? Am I crazy? Did we go in there, guys? I don't want to run into him. So we're gonna stay out here for a little longer. What is this? The mix master? I'm trying to put a, the light in like a decent spot. The mi Oh, oh, it's like a blender or something. Like a really old like 60s blender. Hmm. Alright, I don't think we went in here. It's a cool safe built into the wall. Is it really? Yeah. Go, go to the back room. Oh. Oh, yeah, we definitely did not come in here. Whoa. What the heck? There's literally a safe in the wall. Okay. That's crazy. Wow. Wow. That's so cool. I found a few safes in a few houses I've done over the years, but that's uh that's pretty awesome, man. What's this? Cold cellar, I guess. The old skeleton key. It looks like a spare key for the safe. <laughs> so we're under the basement stairs right now. 
And then going this way, there's like your water tank, your hot water tank. This would have been your laundry room. The old chair, there's always a chair. I told, what did I tell you guys? There's always a chair in one of these houses. There's all your electricity, your panel for all your electricity, your switches over there on that wall. Extra linoleum, vinyl, um, more there, more there. Yeah, this is just storage. I think this would be underneath like the front step outside this concrete. Nothing else really in here. It's like pots and stuff. Would've been cool to find like the blueprints or something. I love that stuff. Cold storage, basement. Oh, hello, Mr. Spider. There are 64 different switches in this house. That's probably the original one. Yeah, it is. Jeez. I mean, they're both the original one. That's what I meant. I don't know what I meant by that. Okay, cool. Well, that's it, guys. Well, after five, six years of knowing about this house, I'm so happy. I finally got to show you guys. And uh, another one done, another cool one done. Cool history behind it. I gotta go upstairs, I gotta take some pictures and stuff, but that's it from here, guys. So I guess I will see you guys um, in the next one.